Welcome to All Signs Tarot. This is a daily love reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the 17th of February 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Sagittarians who need to hear these messages today. Ace of Swords, look at that. You could have um, Gemini in your chart. You could have strong air placements. You're somebody who is a truth teller. You say it as it is and you like to hear it as it is. You're very honest. Also, you could be expressing something to somebody today. So, who are you talking to today about love? Who are you talking to about love? The Four of Swords. No, the Four of Wands. Could be an Aries. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries. King of Cups. This is Scorpio. Scorpio and Aries are both governed by Mars. So, this is a very masculine energy we're dealing with here. Right. This person could have deep feelings for you, actually. This person might want to marry you. So, what are you going to talk about? A new beginning, marriage. You're going to discuss marriage, basically. I don't know if you're going to bring it up or they are, but that's what you're going to be talking about. The letter A could be significant. Somebody, somebody's name might start with an A. Maybe both you and this person have names that start with an A. I don't know. I'm just saying. The Joker... Also, one of these letters, J, O, K, E, or R, could be significant. There you go. <laughs> Since we're talking about um, letters here. So definitely an Aries. This person's an Aries who probably has some water placements. And even if it's not an Aries, this is a very masculine person. So it's likely a man that you're dealing with. A very masculine man. Okay? Manly man. There you go. So... What how, how what will this discussion lead to? This marriage discussion, what will it lead to? Will people say yes here in the situation? So somebody's a seven of cups. Okay, somebody has lots of options, so they're keeping their options open. So somebody might be more um, ready to commit than the other person. Maybe you are because you're the one who's talking, right? Because I was saying you're, you're, you're communicating something. So you could be more ready than this person to commit. Both of you could have a lot of options actually with the Seven of Cups here. Or this person does. Five of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely some competition here. Competition, right? Um... Knight of Wands. Okay, maybe you have, maybe you're the one who has lots of options, right? This is Sagittarius energy. But this person has a similar energy to yours. They have Aries and Sagittarius energy. Yeah, I think this person is very similar to you. Also, this could be you who wants to keep your options open. Maybe that's what you're going to tell this person. I'm not sure. But definitely somebody wants commitment. And it looks like another person has a lot of options that they need to choose from. Seven of Swords. There's some kind of cheating here. But it's not necessarily cheating. It's more like, like I said, somebody really has lots of options. And they're keeping their options open. So that's going to be uh, expressed here. Nobody's going to be hiding anything, I think. Is this person open about the fact that they want to keep their options open? The, the left side of my head is uh, feeling very weird. Like my hair standing up on my left hand side. I wonder what that means. Th th this could be a message. There could be a s special message for somebody. Maybe this person just likes to play with your hair. Or pull your hair or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles here. It could be that this person does want commitment too. But they just have to... Um, Make sure that they choose the right person to commit to. This person, yeah, you know, when you're very attractive, when you have all these options, of course you're going to be kind of, you're going to find it hard to decide who you really want to be with. So, Ten of Pentacles. I think this person does want commitment. Anyway, Five of Swords came out. Okay. Knight of Swords and Four of Swords. There could be some kind of argument. You might end up arguing with this person. This person could also be a Gemini. So this person could have Gemini, um, Aries, and uh, Sagittarius in their chart. This person could have a lot of air in their chart. The thing is, like I said, if you talk about this, you might end up arguing. 
and separating. So you might realize that you are not on the same page here. Are you on the same page with this person? I mean, are, will you be able to get on the same page after this discussion? Nine of Wands. No, I don't think so. Yeah, there's something that doesn't fit here. Five of Wands. You know what? This is kind of a red flag. This might end up... Um, what? I think this person has some kind of anger issues that you're dealing with. Or you're going to get angry at this person because they want to keep their options open. Yeah, it's not going to end well. It's going to be a lot of conflict here. So, you know what? If you just want to talk the truth about your feelings and about your situation to the person, and this person ends up arguing with you, that's a sign that this person doesn't know how to resolve conflict, that they don't know how to see eye to eye with another person. They don't know how to put themselves in the shoes of another person. So this, this is going to be a blessing in disguise. If you need to talk about something, you shouldn't be afraid to talk to this person about what you need to talk about, right? They shouldn't take it personally. They shouldn't feel offended and start an argument. Because disagreeing about something does not necessarily need to lead to an argument. There are billions of people in this world and they have the right to have their own opinion, right? So if this person starts an argument for every time you have an honest and clear discussion about what you want, what your feelings are, what your intentions are for the relationship, then it's better to let it go. So this could be a blessing in disguise that this person is going to argue with you. Hopefully they won't hurt you because the... All these cards here on this row can talk about actual physical violence. So, <sighs> this person might be dangerous that you're dealing with. Okay. Knight of Cups here. We only have knights here. You see all these knights. This person could be emotionally stunted. The person you're dealing with could be kind of childish. And... Um, this person could be emotionally stunted because they were abused in some way. So this person's, their mind stays stuck at that level. Their emotional mind, at least. Even their mind, because the Knight of Swords is a, yeah, it talks about the mind. This person is emotionally stunted in some way. That's why they don't know how to deal with conflict. Right? So, uh, yeah, it's for the best in the end. Seven of Wands. This person is going to be overly defensive or something, or you'll need to defend yourself from this person. Two of Swords, you're going to end up blocking this person and cutting them out of your life, yeah? Because you want to be happy. You want to be with somebody you can be happy with and have a calm and good relationship with. Yeah, you're going to leave this person out in the cold. This person might show their, their true face if you talk to them. So be careful not to trigger this person too much or something, because they could be dangerous. But yeah, you're going to see somebody for who they really are. And then you're going to block them and cut them out of your life. So this person could be like, uh, one moment they're arguing with you, they're telling you off. The next moment they say they're sorry. So yeah, this person has some emotional imbalance, some mental and emotional imbalance. So you need to, to say bye here. Six of Cups. Yeah, this person has some childhood trauma. This could be... Um, yeah, again, this person's childish. This person could be younger than you or they're just emotionally immature. Anything else you need to know about this person? Three of Pentacles. With the Six of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, this person could have the mindset of a child. A playground kind of mindset. So they might be uh, having a relationship with you as if they're they're 16 years old. Even though they're a grown-up. Because I assume that grown-ups are watching these videos. They're not intended for children. But they could be kind of like that. Kind of like somebody in junior high. That's their level, unfortunately. And you're going to find out today if you talk to them. And you're going to let them go. Because the four of pentacles flipped in the reverse. Even if you can't tell that it's in the reverse. I saw how it flipped. 34 could be significant. So this person might be 34 years old, but they're acting like a child. So I don't know, <laughs> you know, nine of pentacles. You're going to be happily single and you're going to focus on yourself. That's the best thing to do. 
Because you're going to see this person for what they are. Maybe you wanted to marry this person. And um, you can't marry a child, right? You can't start the family with a child. Because if you have children with this person, presumably that you want children, you're going to have to take care of two children. Because this person's a child, basically. That's what I'm getting. I'm sorry, but this is the message for today. I hope this helps. Take care.